Hi viewers and today we're looking at creating internal structures inside solids and hollowed out objects and how you would actually get inside to actually select faces of the body to sketch on internal faces for hollowed objects or using that and planes to create pockets internally in solid objects to create such items as this simple marble maze that uses transparent material and a maze inside as a toy or using this to create some kind of cooling aid or anything that you want to actually sketch internally that you can't get inside. We'll be using the clipping plane, the section view and datum planes to actually do this. Okay, so let's get started. If you like this video, please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel. I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. So I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to close the report for you a minute and in here I'm going to jump over to the part design. Now the first body I'm going to create is going to be a hollow body. So hit create body and create sketch. And I'm going to sit there on the XY plane. Now this hollow body is just going to be a square and we're going to create like a maze structure inside it so we can actually make a toy. That's, that's the, the application I'm going for with this. So I've created the square, hit close, I'm going to pad that up and we're not worried about scale so I'm going to go 15 millimeters. I'm going to click off that so that our pad actually takes. I'm going to hit OK and just move that to position with my mouse buttons there. I'm going to change my control to touchpad because I know I'm still using a mouse. Touchpad I find is the best one. It's got a lot of controls in there to use. So we're using touchpad. Now, to hold this out, I'm going to place a little feature on here as a place to drop in something like a marble to actually go through the maze. The idea is actually when you print this out on a 3D printer, we actually get an internal structure that you can't see, or if it's transparent you can see it in there but there'll be no way of getting in there and that's the application I'm going for for this demonstration I'm going to add a sketch on here and this is going to be the entrance hole now the reason why I've done this is because when I close out and pad this slightly Something like 10 or 5 millimeters. Just click off so that takes effect. Remember, we're not worrying about scale. Okay, that. Now, if I click that top face, come over here, and I'm going to make a fixed solid, or we go up to the part design, go down to apply a dress up feature, and go to thickness, then you'll see that's actually added that thickness in, here, in there but it hasn't created a separate thickness to this because you can see it's actually applied it to the hole. If we look inside, you can see the window into the model there. And what I want to do is get to the face in here. But say if this was actually too small for us to actually click that, that bottom face, see, I can actually click that through that window, but we might not have that option. So I'm going to actually OK that. I'm going to show you actually how to get into here. And we make use of something called the clipping plane. So we've got the object and we can see inside it. Now that's create a clipping plane on here. And the first thing I want to do is come in and show the origin. So I can see where I've placed this object. Now because I've been a bit sloppy and I haven't actually constrained to any of these 
origins along here, I haven't constrained to the XY plane or centered this, then the clipping plane I would have to use some offsets in here. Because when we go into view, clipping plane, we get this new panel up here. I'm just going to undock that panel so I can actually see the close down here and I'm going to decide what to clip on. So we've got the XY here and if I click on say X you can see we've actually clipped along this plane here. So this is Y Z plane. So let's clip that across there. If I click Y, you can actually see we can, we're actually clipping along another plane. So I can get to the part in here to set my sketch along one of these faces. Now I want the bottom face, so I'm going to click the bottom face. I'm going to go to the part design and I'm going to create a sketch on that bottom face. Now if the clipping plane is still open, the so sketch is actually being placed along there, along that face now. I can close the clipping plane and make use of the when in edit mode switch between section view and full view and now you see that I've got that base. So that sketch is sitting on that base and I can use this tool now to get to there because I've actually got inside and selected that base. And I can create some features now on here. So I'm going to click on top and I'm going to create some, just some walls in here, some basic features for our marble to actually move around inside here. I may need an exit hole to, so I can get out the bottom. And this is going to be one of the easiest maze to complete. We're well, just using it for demonstration. So close out of that. Now our sketch has been created but we can't see in there anymore. What I'm going to do is click on the body and I'm going to go to view and I'm going to give it some transparency. So go down to tr transparency and I'm going to whack this up to around about 50 or let's go 80. So make it nice and transparent. And we can see the inside now. So if we pad up, we can see that's padding in there. And go something like 50. Click off that. Making sure we don't come out the top might want to bring that down a bit because it's where that hole is. Let's go about uh, 35. There we go. So let's pull that down now. So you can see it in there. Let's hit OK. And we've created that structure inside. I'm just going to select my object and use the fit the selection to screen and then I can actually move around that better. So if we look at our hole we can actually see the um, walls in there. They've been placed in there and if we want to get back inside we can use the view clipping plane again. So I'm going to select the Y plane there and Remember we have offsets here so we can offset it to what we want. Now I want a full, full view so I'm going to go zero. I'm going to go into the minus um, 30, something like that. I'm going to move this with the mouse so I can actually see inside. There we go. That's brought our rotation back. Uh, so you can see inside there and with the aid of transparency and the clipping plane you can actually get inside here and do what you want. Right, let's close out that clipping plane. 
and I'm going to show you how to do that now with a datum plane as well. Our next example uses a solid body and we're going to remove material using a datum plane in science. So before we add a thick body, in other words we had a hollowed out body and now we're going to have a solid body. So I'm going to go through the same process and create a square inside my body I have a sketch and I'll pad that up give it some value say 80 hit OK and that's our solid body now I'm going to create a datum plane along here I'm going to click on the top surface or whatever surface you want to actually sketch upon but this is just adding the datum plane on we're in part design and we use the create a new datum plane or if we go up to part design create datum create a datum plane and that's placed a plane upon that surface there so you can see it's selected that pad face six now that means we have a new plane to sketch upon because before we've got the origin here and let's get rid of that that's interesting right so we've got the origin here that's come up this plane gives us a new origin to sketch upon so if I go back to our datum and that's come unconnected so I'm going to select now if I attached it to the side there let's just delete that out and select that top plane again Hit reference one, is that that topped? So I've got a pad face six. Now, if I come down to the bottom here, I can actually move the direction. So we want to move it in the z direction because we want to put it round about the middle. So we're intersecting this cube. So in the z direction, it's going to go in the minus and say minus 50. And I'm just going to click into one of the other fields. As you can see it's moved into there. I'm just going to make it minus 40 because it was 80 high, I believe. That's sat that right in the middle there. And we could add some degrees on here if we want this slanting along here if we so desire. But I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to hit OK. Now we've got our datum plane. We can actually place a sketch upon this. So I'm going to click on the datum plane. I'm going to hit sketch. Now that's shown, chucked it into the top. And what I'm going to do is just going to right click and fit selection. So I've fixed my rotation now. I'm holding on like Alt and just moving this around so I can see where it's actually intersected that datum plane. Now I'm going to use the when I edit mode, switch between section view and full view. Now I can see that atom plane, I can start sketching upon this. I hit top and I'm just going to place some interesting, well, I'll say interesting, just some rectangles in there. I'm going to hit escape, I'm just going to move those, and I'm going to use the trim tool. And we're just going to remove those internals so we make a pattern within. And I'm just going to quickly finish this up. So hit escape, and I'm just going to delete these parts because they're not needed, and they will break the sketch when we start pocketing this. So we come out the sketch. Now we can't see what's happened because the body is not transparent. So I'm going to go to the body, go to view, come down to the transparency, and whack this up to about 60. Actually, let's go to 80 on there. Click off, and you can see that shape is sitting there on that datum plane right in the middle. 
we could go into our view and do our clipping planes if we so desire as well um, to clipping plane on the not the Y, not the Z, along the sorry the X along the Z, and we can use our offset to get that correctly positioned. But I'm okay with that, so I'm going to just close out of there and select that sketch. So we'll select it on this side because we can't actually get there unless we use our clipping planes and then I'm going to use the pocket create a pocket there now that's created a pocket in there so it's going downwards at the moment and I'm going to do it in a two dimension now we've got this I'm going to place around about three in there and second length about three Right, so 30 there and 30 on that one so we can see what we're doing and there we go so we've created a pocket inside there now that's okay that and I'm just gonna hide click on the datum plane and hide that by pressing the spacebar and also hide our origin so we can see what we're doing and go right click and fit section so I can use my rotate correctly. So that's sitting in there now. So that's how you would get that in there. Now I'm going to, I can't actually get a marble or anything in there. So I'm going to select the top. I'm going to create a new sketch on that top. So we're going, still going for the, the maze type fill. And we're going to say our maze starts here. Let's close that and we're going to pocket that. Let's shrink this down a bit. And we're going to pocket that. Now, how far do I want it down? Let's go on five at the moment, so let's go 20. Let's click off of that. And that's intercepted that now so if we look inside we can actually see the structure that's been pocketed out inside so if we drop a marble in that we can actually move that around there and I'm going to put another pocket in the bottom to flip this around so another pocket in here Let's click on that face and click on new sketch. There's the hole on the other side that we added and I'm gonna stick a hole here. So new sketch there, close that and we'll pocket that one as well. And we'll go down 10 off that so that's intercepted that now as well so we've got a hole on both sides and a internal very basic maze structure in there and that's how you would actually get a solid object and create an internal structure that's pocketed it out inside that solid so that's good for mazes, cooling systems, or anything you want to actually build inside. And remember, you can use your clipping view if you so desire to get, it, get in there. Okay, hope you enjoyed. And I will see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also, I have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash m-a-n-g zero and there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that i actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel thanks a lot for watching and subscribing i'll see you next time